What? How's it going, Squanish? It's your boy. And today, we are back in with more Look at some, and actually, we're going to be talking about my man Bosco's backstory. Now, I'm not going to hold you. I really wasn't going to cover any more backstories, mainly because of the fact that, one, I don't know a lot of the characters' backstories because some of them are completely shrouded in mystery and whatnot. But for the most part, uh, we have literally just one legitimate backstory for this certain character. And it is indeed Vasco's. So I'm going to, and plus I've been pl planning on like doing a backstory for Vasco for some time now, considering the fact that I've talked about in passing, but I'm just going to give you guys a fair warning though, that this is not going to be a super jam packed because again, I talked about most of the stuff in passing already and in certain videos. So I'm not going to give you guys too much that you already freaking know, but for the most part, we're just gonna get into it and talking about my man Bosco, or should I say his true name, Unta Lee. Now, he was in, I believe, in middle school, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, yeah, because that's where he met Jace. Uh, they were both kids, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And as <laughs> one suggests, they were freaking bullied. Yep, they were bullied to heck and back, you know what I'm saying? And the bully was, the bullies in that school was freaking horrendous like good lord have mercy like they was they was doing the flipping most bro like i'm not like i'm not telling I'm, I'm being honest they were doing the freaking most right but you know what i'm saying uh unta lee basically wanted to like you know try and stand up to the bullies and stuff like that obviously vice versa mainly because of his strong sense of justice as you know Vasco idolizes heroes and pretty much uh hates on the evil guys, aka bad guys and stuff like that, right? Um, which is, if you guys don't know, a little bit of fun fact, uh, one of the, um, uh, the box, the little box Superman, super, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, superhero that, that was like in Bosco's birthday party. Um, he got his name from that, that superhero type V. That was basically called uh, Bosco the Hero Man or something like that. So he basically just adopted the name completely after this whole like situation that went down. So, but anyways, yeah, because of Unter Lee's sense of justice, he obviously was a little bit of, um, uh, wasn't inclined to do what bullies wanted him to do and vice versa. Obviously this caused a lot of discomfort and punishment and this caused Unte to uh, have severe freaking scars on his body like they were scarring this man with a flipping pen a pen for a guy like just bruh what and obviously the bullying got all so freaking bad that apparently they had to call in some reinforcements aka the crazy man himself goo what better way to handle the situation call someone that's absolutely freaking worse <laughs> Obviously, if you guys pretty much saw my disrespectful moments as well as a few backstories as well, then you guys pretty much know how this goes how this goes out, okay? Goo basically just buys the entire bullies and basically makes one of them wet themselves and vice versa, end of story, case freaking close. But before Goo pretty much left, he basically gave Bosco a sense of um, motivation, you know what I'm saying? How to become strong and stuff like that. Basically, Goo put him on a freaking One Punch Man training regimen. I'm not kidding. He basically told him, hey, just do 100 push ups, 100 steps, 100 squats, a 10 kilometer run. Listen, man. Like, bro. And the crazy thing is, Bosco did that. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> he did that. And then all the way up in. And so, for those of you guys that are wondering how the hell this man has so much crazy freaking strength, he's on that One Punch Man regimen, apparently. So, after that, uh, after that whole. Um, you know, passing with goo and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, Jace, I think Jace as well also has a few starrings as well uh, with the pen and that they did with the pen. Uh, in order to cover it, they decided to use tattoos, which Jace actually prompted to uh, encourage Vasco to do so uh, because obviously it looked cool and stuff like that, which again, Vasco actually did. And over the years... You know what I'm saying? As you know, Bosco grew, he started getting muscular and stuff like that. 
obviously he was able to like you know get as many tattoos on his body and stuff like that instead uh after after the whole situation he basically basically what pretty much Vosco did he basically like you know what I'm saying try to cover up the past if that makes sense but did not want like the um the past like rule over him basically he he learned from the past in order to, so he so his whole motivation is to obviously get stronger make sure nothing like that ever happens again but also like cover it by trying like you know saying you know tattoos try to become stronger vice versa and stuff like that so which is again why the tattoos and why he changed his name to Vasco instead of you know Lieutenant Lee, which again that was his real name, but I guess. So and of course after um after the whole situation, of course Vasco got super strong, eventually adopted his own delinquent group, uh who basically is just all about uh saving the the weak, which is kind of crazy because they're delinquents for some stupid reason. I don't understand why the whole <laughs> Again, they're, they're like delinquents in this school, but yet at the exact same time, they're a little bit like, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I digress. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, as you, and we pretty much know how it all plays out. You know what I'm saying? From his delinquent group was called Burning Knuckles and stuff like that. And that delinquent group became a fucking gang. And <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it again. Nothing too big, nothing too massive of a backstory. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like this video, comment down below. Share this video across this weekend. And subscribe if you do my channel. This is Blessed Like Sign. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.